What's up, Comic Boss fans? Uh, yeah, it's me. I'm not dead. Contrary to popular belief. Nope, I've just been away. Uh, work's been keeping me busy. The fucking heat has been keeping me even more busy. Fat people in heat don't do. That's right. But, um, I'm back, and this is a special mini-sode. So let's get right to it. I only have two picks this week. Uh, a bunch of comics came out. A bunch of them are probably really good. To be honest, I wasn't able to get them this week. Get them next week. Next week, we will have a full-length Comic Boss episode with me and the whole crew. But here's my two picks for this week, which I think are the two best comics of the week. Let's start with my number two, which is Star Wars The Old Republic number one. Uh, this is based off of the new MMO that's about to come out by Bioware and LucasArts. Um, two creators I've never heard of before, Rob Chestany and Alex Sanchez, uh, are doing this comic. This takes place in the Old Republic era of Star Wars, uh, the same realm as where the Knights of the Old Republic games and everything took place uh, during the big Sith War and all that. Um, I wasn't, I didn't even know this comic was coming out. I was, I mean, I wasn't going to pick it up. I didn't know of its existence. What brought me to it was the, what I think is incredible inside art. This is not art I'm used to seeing in a Star Wars comic. Uh, the best Star Wars comic artist has been Jan Durasuma. She's awesome. All of her Star Wars stuff I get. The rest of them, I don't really get into. But Alex Sanchez is very uh, Travis Charset inspired. And him bringing that to a Star Wars comic is awesome. Uh, they're setting up so much stuff in this issue. It's even hard to give away the story. So I'm not even going to try. Um, just know it's two ninety nine. It's the start of a new Star Wars comic. Star Wars Legacy is about to end, and if this artist and this writer stays on the book, this will become a must-get. My number one is a freaking easy pick. I knew it was going to be my favorite before it ever hit the stands. Brigade number one. Rob Liefeld, Mark Paulton, Marat Michaels. This book is sensational. Um... If you are a fan of the old Image slash Extreme Studios comics, you know Begrade. It was the first comic to ever come out of Image that wasn't featuring one of the seven founders. Uh, Rob Liefeld and Marat Michaels originally did it. They're coming back to it, but they're not coming back to it as a pick up the storyline or a sequel. It's a reboot. Um, and boy oh boy. <laughs> I mean, this thing was just fan-fucking-tastic. Everything about this comic I love. The pace of it is great. I mean, it's getting it the whole time. Rob Liefeld did the plot for it, of course. They are his characters. But uh, Mark Powton really gave a good, solid script. A lot of the chalky talking and just the, uh, what I call Lucas dialogue was not present in this comic book at all good stuff and it's setting up a sort of new feel for the extreme universe uh... i hope this becomes the new standard i hope from here that the extreme universe characters get rebooted and it'll sort of be like the ultimate extreme universe which marvel you know I mean marvel the ultimate universe you get what i'm saying uh... the best thing about this though is the incredible Marat Michaels art. I mean, just look at those pages, man. This dude rivals anybody at the Big Two. I mean, he's he's freaking great. Uh, there are some quirks in here. Um, if you're an old extreme fan, who's that character look like? Sci-fi, right? It's Kayo. It looks like they've... Uh, melded the two characters together which I'm very interested to see where that goes from here but oh man the Seahawk underwater battle great 
Anyway, those are my two picks. If you didn't pick either one of these up this week, you're missing out on the two best comics of the week. Alright guys, well that is it for this week. A new episode of the Retro Comic Review Show is coming up. And it is featuring... You'll see. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the long hiatus. I know, I know. Very douchebaggy of me, but I'm fat and it's hot. Later, guys.